So you just got your brand new iPhone 8 or 8 Plus, you unboxed it, you went through the initial setup process, but now what? Now you're probably wondering, what else can I do to make my device as good as possible? What's up guys, my name's Brandon, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys the first eight things you should do when you get your iPhone 8. So let's not waste any time at all, let's go and get started right away with the very first thing you should do after you get your iPhone 8, and that is to disable auto brightness and go through all the display settings. Let's go into our settings, let's go to display and brightness, and then we have a new option here in the iPhone iPhone 8 for True Tone. So you can kind of turn this on and off and see which one you like better. I personally like True Tone when it's turned on, so I would definitely toggle that on or off. Just go through it and see which one fits you best. You should also set auto lock to never. I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely never forget to lock my device. So all this does is just really annoy me when my device locks by itself. So I always turn that to never. That's one of the very first things I do on any device I get, not even just an iPhone. You also want to disable raise to wake. This is another thing that can be very annoying and also eat away at battery life. And then of course, we want to disable auto brightness. So go to general, go to accessibility, display accommodations, and turn auto brightness off. It's in a new spot here in iOS 11, so it may be hard to find for some people that were used to iOS 10, but go ahead and disable auto brightness here. It can also get really annoying and eat away at your battery life. All right, so now that your screen will actually stay on when you're trying to configure these settings and do things on your phone, now we want to configure the passcode lock and touch ID. So let's go down to touch ID and passcode, and then you wanna go ahead and make sure you have whatever you want checked off right here. And now is also a great time to add more than one fingerprint. Or if you skip touch ID in the initial setup process, it's a great time now to go Go ahead into settings and add your fingerprints. So now you have secured your iPhone. So now we're gonna go ahead and customize something that we're gonna be using a lot here on the iPhone 8, and that is the control center. So if you swipe up to get the control center, you're gonna notice at the bottom here, we only have four toggles by default. So we wanna go ahead and change that. Let's go to settings, control center, customize controls, and now we're able to add in toggles to the control center and also move them around. So some of the ones I would definitely add to there are screen recording, low power mode, do not disturb while driving, and I also like to have quick access to my notes. So I'm gonna add notes in there. If we go ahead and swipe up, you're gonna notice that it changed immediately, no need for a respring or anything like that. So now it looks really clean down here and we have a lot more options than we had before. And the great thing about this control center as well is you can 3D touch on each toggle here and get more functionality. So you can go ahead and change the flashlight brightness right here just from 3D touching on it you can see you know the set timer for 15 minutes you have the calculator here you can copy the last result if you press the screen recording it's going to start recording your screen we have low power mode right here there's no 3d touch for that but you can't enter into low power mode just like that we have do not disturb while driving we have notes right there if you 3d touch on notes you can see we get the option for new notes new checklist new photo and new sketch so yeah you definitely want to go ahead and customize your control center as much as possible again you can move them around just by doing this now we're going to go back to the settings and we're going to change the way our photos are taken on our iphone 8 so we're going to scroll all the way down until we we get to camera we're going to go to formats and we're going to set this to high efficiency so this is a new feature in ios 11 and for the iphone 8 which is going to make all your photos and videos smaller in size but maintain the same quality and that's thanks to the new hevc format from Apple. If you stuck with most compatible, it's just gonna stick with the regular JPEG H.264, but we wanna be on the HEVC format to save space. This is important to do early on before you take a bunch of photos and videos, just because you can't go back and change the format of photos and videos you've already taken in the past. You should also go into here and choose what you want to record video and slow-mo at as well. You could also change the HDR settings in here if you want to. Now comes the fun part, downloading applications. So what good is an iPhone without applications? And one thing that you should really consider on the iPhone 8 is AR applications, which is augmented reality. There are some amazing AR apps out there, especially Sky Guide AR is an amazing AR application. We have Tape Measure, which is really awesome. We have Ikea Place, which is really great for placing fake furniture in your house. It makes it look really realistic. It uses AR to put furniture in your house, which is awesome. So I'd definitely go ahead and recommend checking out some of these AR applications to really take advantage of all the features that the iPhone 8 has to offer. Now, if you're not really into AR and you don't really want any AR apps or you already have them, you can go ahead and get some new apps by watching my best iOS app series, which you can find up in the cards right now. That's gonna show you a ton of amazing applications in 2017 that you should definitely have on your iPhone 8. Again, you can find all those applications by clicking the link in the cards or in the description down below. So once you've downloaded some AR applications and some regular applications, maybe some games, you're gonna have a pretty disorganized screen. So we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and customize that and clean it up a bit. So we're gonna be moving applications around, making folders, finding a good background, things like that. So one of the new features in iOS 11 is the ability to move multiple app icons at once. So all you have to do is go into 
wiggle mode and simply tap on any other icon and you can select multiple icons at once and move them to another page or to a new folder, whatever you wanna do. So this is very useful and you should definitely take advantage of that feature in the beginning when you're customizing your home screen. And of course, if you just wanna make a folder, go ahead and tap and hold and then just drag it onto another application and it will make a folder just like that. So if you wanna take it out of there, just take it out and the folder disappears. So you can see I have a really cool background right here and another cool one for my lock screen. So I'm gonna leave some links down in the description below for a good place to find wallpapers. You definitely want a custom wallpaper. That way you're not looking so basic with the typical default Apple ones. So the seventh thing you should do after getting your iPhone 8 is immediately go and watch my iOS 11 battery saving tips video and change as many settings as you can. Now I know this is kind of cheating because I'm sending you over to a video, but trust me, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead over and watch that. I would include it in this video if I had enough time, but there are just so many things to change that you can find in that video, over 17 tips. So I definitely just recommend you go over and watch that. That way I'm not repeating myself in this video either. You're gonna find some great settings to change in that video that's gonna help you improve the battery life of your iPhone 8 and iOS 11. And the final thing you should do after getting your iPhone 8 is get a screen protector and a case. And the three brands I recommend most are Elixir, Spigen, and Spec. So Elixir has been hooking me up, so they've sent me a lot of free accessories. So shout out to Elixir. I'm gonna have their website down in the description below. Definitely check it out. I'm also gonna have links to Spigen and Spec down below, these specific cases as well, if you wanna go ahead and pick these up. They're very affordable and definitely, definitely worth it, especially with the glass back now on the iPhone 8. So you can see here we have tons of options from Elixir who sent out a bunch of awesome cases here for the iPhone 8 and also the 8 Plus, but this is probably my favorite one right here. Really cool looking black and gold case for the 8 Plus, which I'm definitely gonna be rocking. So once again, I always say it, but I'm gonna say it again, get a screen protector and a case for your iPhone 8. You're not gonna regret it. You know, it's better to be protected than to pay a bunch of money to get your iPhone repaired. So there you have it guys. Those are the first eight things you should do after getting your iPhone 8 or 8 Plus. I hope you learned at least one thing new in this video and I also hope that you have your iPhone up and ready to go with all the right settings enabled. If you did enjoy the video, I'd appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe for a lot more iPhone 8 and iPhone 10 coverage in the future. But anyways guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.